This here is Shakespeare. Ha, wrong, no it's not. It's a sketch of Shakespeare. Prove that Shakespeare existed, because I don't know about you guys, but I haven't seen his birth certificate. What about Shakespeare's plays that he writes? His, his plays? Do we know that he wrote them? No. No, no, no exactly. No, no. We don't no. even know. Because yes. why can't don't we know? Because he wrote them ages ago, yeah. and nobody even saw. Did any of you guys see them? No. Did you, did you see no. him write them? No. Did you did any did you see them write them? So we just have to assume things yes. that society yes, tells us. Like this happened, and we like did it. So that's why I think for our book that we're writing, do it about Shakespeare. He's like he's like a well-known guy. Yeah. And like um, I you know, people will want to read about I Shakespeare, do. about the real truth. So tell me guys, what have you been up to then? Well, you know me, Chelsea. Always busy, just like Travis. I mean, all the community projects, I mean, book club, knitting with the girls, and you just can't get me off the tennis court these days. <laughs> Stop everything! I've got it, guys. This is the big one. I can feel it. I can feel it in my gut. This is our guy. His name's Danny. And he's been running a family business for the last six years or so. The longest. And I think, I think we're on to something here. I mean, you can see it in the star. He's a, he's a shady guy. So what are we going to do about it, Connor? I think you know, Chelsea. It's expose time. So, just so we're clear, there's this guy called Danny who's a bit shady. And he owns this hotel. And we're going to go and investigate him. Maybe even write a book about him. This will look great for my Duke of Edinburgh. I think... Teen Chan, guys! <gasps> Chante, the pleasure is all mine. Y you all know why we're here? Yeah. Collecting it's evidence. It's, it's yeah. in our souls. Yeah. We can do this. Yeah. Collecting evidence. Go to every room you can find. Just rummage through everything. So, just to clarify, we're gonna look around this hotel for evidence to prove that this guy isn't in yep. the You got it. Yeah. You got it. Yeah. Say. Keep it coming, Well, 
which one? <laughs> did you guys find some like really good intense like stuff did, that we yeah. can like really use? Like yeah. it'll be really good for a book that we're writing. Like, I think actually, so, yeah. look, I found I some agree. really like yeah, like Travis found the most amazing evidence. He's so oh, smart. Yeah, there. Yeah. yeah. Right. So we've been to the hotel. Okay. Got the evidence. We've got the evidence. We've got a map here. We need to make connections. So while I was investigating, I found the cleaning lady's cupboard. And in it, I found some stickers. Some I gave blood stickers. Another thing, another really wicked and freaky thing that happened. I went out and I see another cleaning lady, like the exact same one. I, I have a theory that there are two cleaning ladies that, that, that are Danny's personal blood bags. And he sucks their blood right up his dumb back and sticks one of these stickers on their chest. That makes sense, because he's a va vampire. Because he's a... Vampire? Oh. Yes, that makes sense. Oh my gosh, you're so right. I know. Sorry, what were you saying, Ian? I was venturing down the corridor, and I found some bladdles spitting over the walls. And this obviously concludes that Danny likes to crash. Children drink out of a juice box like this. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, I was looking through um, Danny's uh, things and um, I didn't see any birth certificate, so that basically means he was born ages ago, so that means he's immortal, so he's a vampire. You're so right, Chelsea, because me and Jesse, we were walking down the corridor and Not heard wrong. a weird noise coming from the bathroom. Weird noise. And it turns out Danny was spray tanning himself to cover up for his vampire white skin. Yeah, he took a photo and uploaded it to Instagram and it's already gone like 20 likes. Well, 17. Yeah, but if you round it up, it's 20, so. Well, I just knew from the second I entered the hotel that there was something special between Danny and that cleaning lady. I mean, the way they looked at each other was just like the way me and John from Fifth Form Mathematics looked at each other. So Danny and the cleaning lady I'm madly in love. Unfortunately, loving a vampire can get a bit messy. Okay, people, I think we've got a book here. Yeah. Three, two, one. Shh. Hi, Travis. Doing there, it's so smart. Yeah, well, he oh is my a God. smart boy. It's true. Yeah, it's awesome. Hey, whoa, whoa, that is a load of Bilbo Baggins, okay? I mean, Travis is dead. Well, I haven't! <laughs> Shut up, I'm typing, okay? <laughs> Travis, it's not doing what I want it to do. Travis. Have you eaten any lunch? Yeah. Are you sure? Expose, eh? <laughs> it's here. They took our work and made it into a children's book instead of a hard-hitting expose. Mom, I still want my cheese so Why are you reading that brand new undertone? This book's about vampire who lived in this very hotel. It's Whoa. okay, it's only a children's story. Isn't that right, Bathurst?
daddy long legs now.